Okay, folks, Paul Bates here. Uh, live life with no regret. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos with Bruce on the 47 uh, Marine uh, Trader. Uh, the boat, you know, I was when I got to it, I was a little concerned. I had a few concerns, but it, it, actually everything turned out really great. And Bruce was great to run with, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Another Vietnam veteran, you know, uh, from... Uh, that ear, you know, he's like 74, you know, his last two raw here. I, th I think they're gonna, they may tr attempt the loop. Um, they're not really committed to the loop, but uh, I think they're gonna, they may try it. It, it. I mean, it's a goal, they'll see what they say, but the, again, the keys, the Bahamas, stuff like that. And then uh, what I really wanna talk about today is the storm, I, uh, I and Ian, and how it affects, how it's gonna affect the loopers uh, that, are, that need to get through there, um, because, you know, just two years ago when I left uh, for On America's Great Loop and I did my loop, um, I was uh, it right after Sally. So Sally had come through and then we left in April. So same thing with you guys. So I've been through a few of these storms now. I've been through uh, like four of, four major ones. Uh, Ivan was a, a big one. That was one of the first ones, like 2000, 2001, 2002, somewhere right around that era right there. Ivan came through. And it, it just devastated. We're on generator for right out a month. Uh, I think we were at our at my personal house, and uh, you know it was it, it was it was as bad as it gets. And then seeing the the process, you know, from you know two years ago when I left on America's Great Loop, I did it, uh, you know, right after Sally. I bought the boat like the day after Sally went through. We found out that it made it through the hurricane, and then I had to find a place to pull it out of the water and actually work on it. So it was. The hurricane caused me problems, um, but I, I, everything was doable, you know. And I even I was in one of the places that was hardest hit, which was Pensacola, because they were on that right side of the storm. And you know, the boat survived, and I was able to find a boatyard to put it in to get the work done. So we'll still be able to do things. It's going to take a little bit of cleanup and a little bit of time. Um, I would say, you know, a good two to three weeks, a month which is about the timing that you that loopers really sh would normally start heading down there uh, because right now you guys are all bunched up there's a lot of them up there and you know i was just in green turtle bay there's quite a few loopers up there um you got like jim's at um at De not denopolis denopolis denied him um he's at uh, aqua marine uh there in iuka mississippi and he's hanging out there for a month you know he just stopped and so right now you may consider slowing down a little bit uh, just to you know, let, the, let, let, let the people do their work. Because like I said, I've been through four of these major storms and from Ivan, the cleanup on Ivan to the cleanup on Sally and how fast they've got the marinas back up and running, everything back up and going. But some of that stuff in, down there is just completely gone. I mean, it's, it's just start over from scratch and, and build all new. So. And so it may take a little bit longer, uh, but I don't think so. Like you are going to go be able to uh, go do your crossing there. And there's plenty of us captains here that will help anybody get across there. That, you know, if you're nervous about going over there or, or anything like that, I'm heading over there in about two weeks on a boat, on a delivery. And uh, I just found out today that Marina Jacks is open. Um, the um, Okeechobee is closed right now, so you cannot go through the Okeechobee. So a lot of people will go uh, come in through, you know, at Tarpon Springs, which is 100% that's open right now. You'd be able to just go to Tarpon Springs, uh, go in there, hang out there. That's a great place. That's where you really start that Florida coastline. Clearwater's all open. Marina Jacks is open. Um, but once you get past that, then, then there's going to be, you're going to have to probably go on anchor, you know, down there in Fort, the Fort Myers area. If you're going to hang out there for a day or so, or if that's a stop for you, uh, there's really not going to be anything there for you. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be months before we see anything, you know, the, where you'll be able to stop and get fuel and stuff like that there in the Fort Myers area. So you just have to anchor. So your boat should be set up to anchor. Uh, you're gonna ha you've had to have done it now once or twice. Not some of you go fast. The problem with the go fast, uh, what you're gonna find out is fuel, because you're gonna have to make it a pretty decent stretch. Let's say from Marina Jack there all the way around. Um, you know, I don't know where you could get fuel. You're not gonna be able to get it in uh, Naples. Um, maybe Venice is where you'd have to get it. Just past Naples there. Um, now I know that one's open. Um, 
but like I said, the Okeechobee is closed right now till further notice. Um, so you have to go, if you were leaving right now and going, you'd have to, once you get to Fort Myers there, you're, you're, you're pretty much on the outside anyway, and you're just hopping down the coast there to the, to the different inlets. Um, and when you get to the Keys there, uh, you know, it's only like a day's drive, ah, maybe a day and a half, uh, two day drive from, uh, from that, uh, Fort Myers down to the Keys. Um, so, and it's just one of those things, you know, you're just going to have to be on the anchor and, uh, have, make sure you have plenty of fuel in the boat to, to be able to make that distances. Like this last boat that I was just on that 37 Nordic tug, man, he's got a thousand mile range. Uh, they're actually starting the loop. They, they, they won't have any problems because they, like I said, they, they can make it all the way from right here where we're, I'm sitting all the way around uh, the coast and up, up the other side. And once you get over there, you're going to be fine. There's, you'll have all the services and everything like that. They didn't get a hurt nearly as bad as like the that Fort Myers area the boat that I delivered earlier in the year uh, you can see it right here it's actually survived the storm it went up on the on the the road there and then they're going to be able to take a crane and put it back in the water the six toe that we actually stayed in once we got there it's total loss is from what I understand but it, just looking at the pictures from from that that area my, my god there's no roads there's nothing everything everything was lost I mean it's almost a total loss down there um, but again, living and going through a few of these storms, the recoveries get faster and faster. The, uh, you know, FEMA, all these management teams, they are much, much faster, much, much more efficient. And things happen really, really fast with the, these things. Anyway, lots of changes going on with the channel right now. There's, uh, I, I can't really talk about everything right now. Um, I do appreciate you guys that hit the super chat. I, uh, I, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I'll start uh, telling you the names and stuff like that of the people that actually hit that hit that button. Also, um, I'm getting the boat ready. Just a tremendous amount of projects. I just ordered a dinghy. It was supposed to be here today, but the delivery company said no, it'll be tomorrow. And then, uh, um, so that should be here tomorrow. I just uh, hooked up the inverter. Uh, so the inverter and the I just had I, just, I had probably you know like probably 15 boxes down in my office. And, uh, you know, just all little projects like LED lights in here. And, but this last week, man, I've knocked out just about all those boxes are gone now. The batteries, uh, the Light Pro 4 batteries are connected. The inverter's connected. We just today, I had to order a switch to hook that into the system because I want it bulletproof. I don't want it. If I ever sold the boat, if I ever, if anybody was ever on the boat and I tell you to go to inverted power, I don't want to take any chances of, of blowing an inverter or something like that. So we set it up to where you can't. So we had to add another switch in there. So we, we got that done today, put the little panel on there. It turned out very, it was, a, it was a cool little project and it turned out really nice. So, and I'm excited because now I got to see how long I could go off of this 400 amp hours of uh, inverted power. But anyway, Anybody that needs help too uh, with uh, you know taking your boat across there, you know you got you got licensed captains, you know like myself, Scott Wally. There's a few of us down here that we've done that trip uh, several several times, um, you know, and and uh, you know you can pay us to to take you over and get you over there to Tarpon Springs or Clearwater or wherever you want to go. Uh, you guys that want to go over there, a great little stop. Uh, you know, this, you got Tarpon Springs, you got the downtown marina in there, and then you can come over to the um, Caladousies, another beautiful state park over there. Uh, it's twenty dollars a night, um, and you got power and everything like that. Now the negative about them, they can only hold about four or five big boats. All anything thirty, uh, probably about thirty-five feet, thirty-six, thirty-seven feet. You guys can go into slips. But the big ones, you have 45s and 50s, they have to go on the end ties, and they only have like five of those uh, end ties, and they don't have a lot of big slips. But it's, it's a great little park, and they have beautiful beach over there. It's, it's Caladasi State Park. Um, so, and, and anybody needs information, you know, I'll give you what information I have. You know, like I said, the Okeechobee's closed till further notice. Um, Marina Jacks is open. I just found that out today. I am heading over there in two weeks, so I'll have a lot more information for you guys, and I'll be happy to share it with you. Uh, you can reach out to me personally if you got any questions. You know, you can email me um, or just call me and or ask me. Leave a comment down below, and I'll get I'll get you I'll get I'll get in touch with you somehow. Anyway, peace out. Remember, live life with no regret. I do. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it.
and uh, be good and I'll see you and I'm excited about all the new changes and stuff that's happening. Anyway, peace out and bye.